Hello everyone. I want to give you an introduction how PLM change management is handled in SAP S4HANA. The following functionalities are available in S4HANA on-premise starting with release 2020 FPS1, as well as on cloud system starting with S4HANA Cloud Edition 2111. In this video, I want to give you an overview how the setup and handling of rule-based process control is happening in BIF+. I will first show you some slides and then jump into the system for a live demo. Please note that we have used the latest S4HANA on-premise system, which is currently shipped to our customers. It has the state of S4HANA 2021 FPS 0. Before you start setting up the rule-based process control via BIF+, you need to have global process route templates available. How the template creation is working, I showed in an earlier video. First of all, I will introduce you into the general access to BIF+. Thereafter, you will see how the application creation in BIF Plus is working. This will also include the setup of importing and exporting parameters, as well as defining a decision table. We will run through the following three BIF Plus setups. The first one is the setup of a status-based template determination. This means that based on a change record type and a change record status, a defined process row template gets loaded. The second example is an item-based template determination. So based on a change record type, a change record status, and a change item, a defined template gets loaded into process route. Last but not least, you will see how the BF Plus setup of a status determination is working. For all three examples, we will also run into the S-Pro customizing to make clear where the connection between BF Plus and change record process route is happening. Please note that these three points are only examples how a rule-based process control could work. The BF Plus application is highly flexible and can be adjusted into every business needs and processes. Let's now jump into the system to have a closer look into the BF Plus capabilities. Here we are in the BF Plus application of our internet browser. You can access BF Plus via the transaction code BRF Plus. BF Plus stands for Business Rule Framework Plus. If you want to create a new application, you have the possibility via the Workbench dropdown to create here a new application. I will now show you what kind of parameters you need to set based on our existing applications, what we have available in our system. The first one is the status-based template determination. First of all, we are here in the application structure of the newly created application. You have here the general data available as well as some details of our BRF+. To define importing and exporting parameters, you need to create a new function. This can be accessed via the tree here on the left-hand side. We have created the following function. Again, we have here the general header data available. The next tab is the, the detail tab with the expression. We will come back to this later. And on the bottom, on this contact section, we are defining our importing and exporting parameters. The importing parameter is in this case the header structure of our change record. The result or exporting parameter is the global template ID. If you jump into the edit mode, you can add additional importing parameters into our context tab, as well as adjusting the exporting parameters via this dropdown here. These importing and exporting parameters needs to be designed to make sure the BF Plus framework is working proper. On this detail tab, we have defined our expression. Multiple kind of expressions are available in BF Plus. What we have used, which is also, I would say the most common one, is the decision table. These expressions can be adjusted and maintained also via this dropdown here. We will jump now in our decision table. Here you see our decision table available, which could be also accessed via the expressions folder in our structure on the left hand side. Again, you have here the header data available in the generals tab with all the transactional information. Down there, 
you see our decision table. In this case, we have maintained the issue type, so as a change record type, as well as our user status from our importing parameters. These importing parameter fields can be also adjusted via the table settings on the right hand side. Here you can insert additional columns or remove existing ones. Also the fields of our exporting parameters can be set here. The exporting parameter is, as already mentioned, the global template ID. So here we are selecting the template which we want to load based on the importing parameters. Please note that you not only need to save the template after you have edited it, you also need to activate it via this button. For sure, you also need to activate the whole BIF Plus application. To give you some example, in this row, we have maintained that for the change record type S01, in the user status E0, we want to have the global template ID CR request change available in the process route. Let's now jump into the system to see if this behaves correctly. So we're creating a new change record of the change record type S01. We're adding a description, saving the change record. So we see here that we have the record type S01 in status E0. Then we're jumping to the process route. And there we see these template loaded what we have set up in BF+. In this case, the template only exists out of a background task. Now I want to show you where this BIF Plus table needs to get maintained in the SPRO customizing that the connection between change record process route and BIF Plus is ensured. Therefore, we are opening the customizing with the transaction SPRO. In the structure, we are accessing logistics general, thereafter product lifecycle management, thereafter change records. Here we ha have all SPRO customizing settings available for our change records. The connection between BIF Plus and Process Route is happening in the folder of the Process Routes. Our first example of the status-based template determination is maintained in this first entry, Determine Templates. Here we see that we have the BIF Plus application maintained here, as well as our BIF Plus function. Let's now jump back into BIF Plus to show you how the item-based template determination is maintained. The item-based template determination is also pretty similar than our first example. Let's jump in our application of the item-based template determination. Here you see our application available. Also this application, similar to the first example, is having a function attached. This function is now having two importing parameters. So not only the change record header status, what we see here on the first row, also the change record item status is maintained as an importing parameter for this BF Plus application. The exporting parameter of this global template ID is the same than in our first example. Also here, we have maintained a decision table. But as already mentioned, also other kind of expressions are possible. Let's jump into the decision table, how to see how it behaves in this case. In this case, we have set the following importing fields. The first one is again the issue type for the change record type. The second one is the user status for the change record user status. Also the same than in our first example. The first one is now the object type for our change objects. The exporting parameter, what you see here on the right hand side in green, is also the same than in our first example, the global template ID. So here we see based on the change record type and based on a status, in addition, based on a change record object, we want to load a special template ID. So let's see what we have maintained for our change record type S01. We have some examples here available in this row. 
So here we say for our change record type S01, when it's in the user status E1 and the inspection plan is attached to the change record, we want to load the global template ID of the change record underscore item underscore inspection plan. Let's check if this behaves correctly. Here we are back in our change record, what we just have created earlier. Let's first of all push it into the next change record status E1. Now we have the change record available in status E1. Next, we are adding a inspection plan to see if this maintained template gets loaded. After saving the change record and switching into the process route, we see that this new item, what we have maintained in BF Plus, gets loaded into the process route section. Also in this case, we need to maintain this BF Plus application in our SPRO customizing. I will just show you where this is happening. In general, you can say it's happening for sure in the same structure of Logistic General, PLM, Change Record, process routes, and then you need to select the second entry, determine templates for object items. Here this BIF Plus application of the item-based template determination is happening. For sure you also need to maintain the related function to it. Last but not least, I will show you the handling of the status determination in the change record. Therefore, we are going back to BIF Plus. Back in BIF Plus, we have again an additional BIF Plus application available. In this case, it's called peer underscore status. Also here, we have a function created, which is again describing the importing and exporting parameters. In this case, the following three importing parameters are maintained. The exporting parameters in this case is not a global template ID, it's the change record user status. The expression is again a decision table. So here you see the decision table of our status determination. So here we are defining what is happening in a special user status after a process route was approved or rejected. So the importing fields are again the issue type, so the change record type, the change record user status, as well as the decision which is coming from the process route. The exporting parameter is the user status. So in this case, the change record user status where the change record needs to get pushed. To give you some example, for our change record type S01, we have maintained here, if the change record is in user status E0 and the decision is not equal than rejected, then we want to push the change record from E0 to E1. This BF plus table also needs to get maintained in our SPRO customizing. It's again in the same structure with our change records. Also again in the folder of the process route. In this case, you click the entry define change record status, where you're maintaining the BF plus application and function. Thank you everyone. I hope I gave you a first overview how the setup in BIF Plus for rule-based process determination is working. With our three examples, you should now have some impressions how your business processes could be realized with the help of BIF Plus.